Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadogs the Bomb, but built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park newsroom update where today we've got multiple sources reporting some breaking news out of Belgium, plans for a brand new Legoland Belgium theme park. Uh, now we're going to be speaking about all the information in this video, all of the different info from two different sources. That's why it's a breaking news update. We've got two different sources on this news update. Uh, Leco, based in Belgium, it's a Belgian news source. And then we've got Loopings, which is an overall European news source. I use them quite a lot for information. So, you know, two massive sources, both in Belgium and the rest of Europe, uh, to speak about this brand new theme park. Uh, before we get started, guys... Uh, got some news. Um, I put an appreciation post out yesterday on the community. Uh, we're nearly, we're, cl we're getting closer and closer to 500,000 views across all the videos over the last two full years on YouTube. Two full years, you know, you know. Obviously, there's 365 days in a year. Double that, 700 and. 30? I'm, I'm terrible at maths, but it's something like that. Imagine 365 days times 2. That's how long we've been on YouTube in terms of full years. And we've got nearly 500,000 views. I, 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 I can't like fathom that, which is unbelievable. So thank you guys so, so much for that. Uh, but for now, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. If you go into the description, you can check out the links to both news sources, news stories, news articles for this uh, story. Uh, as well as in there, there is my Instagram, where you can subscribe to, my Snapchat, my Twitter, my second channel, which is about sports, football, and basketball journalism. So you can check that out in the description down below as well. And also my brand new TikTok. And also, if you if you're doing this on your laptop or you want the YouTube version or the desktop version of YouTube on your laptop, then I've linked where the social medias are. You know, in like the bottom right corner on your laptop version, I've linked my TikTok there as well, along with my Instagram, and Snapchat, and I think Discord and Twitch is on there as well. So where you can all subscribe to them. And uh, for now, let's get into talking about the brand new Charl Charleroi, I think that's how it's pronounced, the place in Belgium, where there could be a brand new Legoland theme park. Let's have a look at them. So, combining the two information sources, we have an official update on this brand new project. The Merlin Entertainments Group is studying the establishment of a Legoland amusement park in Charleroi. The project could create a thousand jobs. Long promised to, to the electric cars of the Chinese Thunder Power after the departure of Caterpillar just four years ago, the former site of the American manufacturer of construction machinery is talking about it again. A feasibility study that was quickly launched but the coronavirus crisis raised fears of the worst for the amusement park project in Charleroi. Now a quote says one would have indeed thought that the file was going to be buried with the crisis but this kind of international group must always think of the future. The file has just taken a new impetus this week with the designation of the investment bank Tandem Capital and the launch of a fundraising to finance the project. This operation is carried out jointly by Merlin and the Walloon region. Now the quote says Merlin is ready to put 100 million euros on the table and the entire project is estimated at 300 million euros. In partnership with the Walloon region and its armed wing Sajepa, I think that's how it's pronounced, the group therefore hopes to raise 200 million from investors within six weeks, uh, explained by the news source Le Echo. In addition to the attractions at the park, the amounts will be used to finance the construction of hotels, um, as well as restaurants, and they want exclusivity on the site. Now, the amusement park is to be built on an industrial area of 93 hectares, abandoned since 2016. It's said that this involves the investment of almost 300 million euros. Uh, now, Merlin representatives already visited the site back in December 2019, and there will be no serious interest, but there is no signatures on the paper yet. So, the signature is a serious signature interest, but there's no signatures on the paper as of yet. Due to the corona crisis, the project has been on the back burner in recent months, and this week the matter gained momentum when the appointment of an investment bank. So, like we said, Merlin is willing to put 100 million euros on the table. And of course, the remaining amount will be collected in the next six weeks from investors. Now, according to those involved, the arrival of the Lego Park will create 800 job, 800 to 1,000 direct jobs. Not only should there be attractions, but also hotels and restaurants. And of course, I'm talking also about 
and probably shops and some other experiences as well. Now Merlin wants the exclusive rights to develop the construction projects on site and it's hoped that work can start within the next four years. So there we go, that is the, the first sort of detail surrounding this project. Some of it will repeat it again for those of you who didn't catch the first uh, you know, reading of the information uh, and plus it's a combination of two sources so again you can check out the links to Leco and Looping's stories about this project in the description down below and uh, yes my thoughts on this a Lego land Belgium at least it's not another one in Asia or one in Dubai or something like that it's, it's one that's you know in this day and climate realistically you know you can re you can reach out to it you know Hopefully, you know, I mean, I mean, the hope to start work on it within four years. So my sort of analysis of it, looking at that kind of statement uh, at this early stage, we could be looking at the minimum, maybe an opening year of 2026, 2027, around that mark. If they're hoping to start work on it within four years, and it'll take about a year or two to construct the project. Uh, I'm thinking around about a 2026, 2027, if they want an extra year to complete it. Um... So maybe we're looking here at a 2027 opening, but of course, if things are pushed back, then this could, the sort of, the sort of between, in terms of what we're looking at for opening years, between 2027 and 2032, I mean, looking at the next five years, maybe. So looking at it, sort of rounding off into the next five years, it's between 2027 and 2032 for me for an opening. So uh, it will be interesting to see what's gonna happen uh, with this project, um, in terms of attractions, I mean, I'm half expecting, you know, uh, a dragon roller coaster, a dragon's apprentice, maybe, um, maybe an Injago dart ride, maybe a Lego factory adventure dart ride, like the one going into the brand new uh, park for 2021 in New York. Uh, so maybe we're looking at one of those types of dart rides with the ERT rides. Sorry, the ERT, ERT ride systems and the whole of this technology. So maybe we're looking at a combination of that for this particular theme park. They want some exclusivity on the site, so maybe something that we've never seen in a Legoland park before, like a type of ride or a theme they haven't used in the parks before. Um, so maybe we could be potentially, you know, expanding that knowledge and looking at potential uh, side partnerships that have worked with Lego in the past on other projects aside from the theme park. So maybe they get DC Universe involved or they get Marvel involved. Um, I, I mean, we don't, we don't know. We don't know, do we? So, uh, they could do Lego Friends. They could do a nice themed area for families there. So, it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen with this project, but I personally can't wait for it because it's a new Legoland park. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be very well themed. And uh, for a site that's been abandoned since 2016, potentially this could be, you know, a real transformation of that site, you know. And if it is going to be a 2032 opening, between 20, if it's going to be 2027, then that's 11 years since the abandonment of the site. So 11 years on from its abandonment first. I mean, it's going to look completely different in 2027. 2032 even, if we're looking at the maximum in the next five year roundup. 2032, if it's going to open then, you know, we're looking at another 16 years. So... You know, I think it's going to be a, a bit of a waiting process over the next four years. It's one of those projects that you've got to, you know, let bed in. You've got to let it control. Got to let it take flow. And you know, four, four or five years down the line, we could see some developments on this. We could see little t bits of information over these next four years while we wait for the massive news if it's going to break ground or not. So, you know, I think hopefully, fingers crossed. You know, we we, we will get some news on it. And, um, you know, hopefully, you know, in four years' time, we can see some work break ground on this. So, I really can't wait to see if this goes ahead. I really want it to go ahead because it's a brand new part for Belgium. It's a brand new, massive, massive investment group like Lego going into the country of Belgium and developing this brand new attraction. I mean, Merlin's gone into Europe many, many times, especially in the, the Benelux region with the, the small Legoland Discovery Center that's been built in Holland. Um, and, you know, different, you know, sort of midway attractions like your sea life, seeing about two swords and things like that uh, in places like Amsterdam. So, you know, there's a, and obviously, you know, it, there's plenty more to come from Merlin in the Benelux region. So 
I'm really excited to see what's going to happen with this. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this theme park news update from Lego Land Belgium. I can't believe I'm saying that. Um, we do have one more news update to come today, and that is from Niglo Land in France. We've got our special uh, unnamed agent character, who's been uh, a bit of a character, who's <laughs> who's uh, coming with a special report about Niglo Land. So. Uh, you know, stay tuned for that guy. And uh, for now, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Chow. Keep living the coastal life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day. <laughs>